Okay, this is on how to set up the channels for the two pieces of software. Again, these are the two pieces of software that are available. Um, once you've got the right driver set up, I'd like you to delete the icon on the desktop of the wrong piece of software. This piece of software is for if you have an easy TV card, and this is for the other two, the Sabrent, uh, which has a Panasonic controller. Anyways, this is the, the other one. This particular one, um, what you would do, obviously, is first we do what we talked about and go through and check and make sure it has the right drivers. So I've already looked at the back, and it's got the newest Sabrent TV drivers. So I'm going to look at the um, control panel for that. Or I'm sorry, the device manager for that. And I check out the device manager here and... And I go under sound and video game controllers and I see that it's got the SA7130 which is the right one for the newest one. So that's the first thing you do before you even worry about the um, TV software. Then we open up the correct piece of TV software and if this case was a real teacher's PC I delete the wrong one. So I'm going to open up the right piece of software. If it's never been set up before it immediately comes up asking you to set up the um, the device and in, in this case if I saw this the device input would be the sound card um, uh, for the input it would just be the Soundmax digital audio sound card um, would be the input oh I'm sorry so uh, I've got the Soundmax digi digital it's a TV I go next I want to tell it I'm going to use cable and normally we just do the scan with United States but there's going to be some cases where we use some of the other United States settings as well but first we're going to try United States we say next and then we just do an auto scan of the channels and I should get a bunch of channels you can see them popping up there in the background um, showing up for the teacher And when it's done and gone through all the channels, we say next uh, and just finish. Now, off times, you're not going to get that pop up all automatically for you. And we can see the channels are a little bit fuzzy because I've got a splitter over there, but the channels are coming in pretty good. Um, if you don't get that automatically set up, you have to hit the arrow right here, go to TV panel, and this is the normal way you're going to do it after you fix the drivers, uh, and then hit the wrench. And then you're going to make sure, you're going to go over here first to TV and make sure that it's set United States and cable. Uh, device back here again should be um, the sound match digital audio is input. And now it doesn't say microphone, it should be um, line in, should actually be our source now that it's finding it right. I'm going to apply that. And then I go back to channels, and then if it's set up, wrong initially and then I have to redo it then I would again hit auto scan to go and find all those channels again okay in some cases we do this and we don't get the channels very well particularly in um, classrooms where the cable doesn't come in well and sometimes we have to go and again when it comes up we get arrow here to TV panel and hit the wrench to get in the setup sometimes we have to go over here to TV and pick the HRC or the IRC settings and what that does, what those settings do is they scan uh, every single time you switch channels to try to, to fine tune it. it it's not the, the setting we want to set all the time because it can mess up some of the VCR receptions and you can see here that uh, it does not look better. In fact, now I'm getting none of my channels. So you can see in this case that wasn't the right setting. Uh, I just go back to settings and switch it back over to um, cable and those will come in just to find the United States. So sometimes if you find that the cable, that you know you've got the right driver and you um, have it all plugged in and you don't get the channels to come in very well, you try the IRC and that will solve the problem some of the times uh, and the cable will come in fine. So that's how to set it up with the Win DVR if you've got either one of the Sabrent cards um, normally. When the software comes up, you just hit the wrench, make sure it's set up as cable. 
my wrench is in opening. Okay. Open. So make sure you've got set up the TV set up as cable in United States. Um, make and then you can just come back here to channels. And if it doesn't show the channels, you can just hit auto scan so it refines all the channels that go for for that. Uh, systems. Next one we're going to go over is the Easy TV, which looks a little bit different.